It's day 7 of our 10 day fat loss program. We are almost done with the program. Same as before, we've organized a sequence of 8 exercises, categorized into 3 rounds. Your objective is to complete 3 sets for each exercise before proceeding to the subsequent round. Let's get it. Round 1. Barbell Back Squats. 1. Set up. Begin by setting up a barbell in a squat rack at about chest height. Load the bar with an appropriate amount of weight. Stand facing the bar and position it across your upper back, just below your neck, resting on your trapezius muscles. 2. Position. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Your toes should be pointing slightly outward. Place your hands on the barbell with a grip that's slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Lift the bar off the rack by straightening your hips and knees, taking a step or two back to clear the rack. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with the barbell resting on your upper back, feet shoulder width apart, and your chest up. 4. Squat. Inhale as you initiate the squat by bending your hips and knees simultaneously. Lower your body by pushing your hips back and bending your knees while maintaining a straight back and a chest up posture. Continue descending until your thighs are at least parallel to the ground or lower if your flexibility allows. 5. Drive up. Exhale as you reverse the movement by driving through your heels and straightening your hips and knees. Keep your back straight and your chest up throughout the ascent. 6. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, stand tall and squeeze your glutes to fully extend your hips. 7. Return to rack. Carefully walk back to the squat rack and return the bar to the hooks. 8. Breathing. Inhale as you lower into the squat and exhale as you drive up. 9. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Incline Dumbbell Chest Press. 1. Set up. Begin by adjusting an inclined bench to an angle of around 30 to 45 degrees. Select a pair of dumbbells that match your strength level. Sit on the inclined bench with your back against the bench and your feet flat on the ground. 2. Position. Hold a dumbbell in each hand with an overhand grip, palms facing forward. Extend your arms fully, and position the dumbbells directly above your chest, in line with your shoulders. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with your back against the bench, dumbbells above your chest, and your elbows slightly bent. 4. Press. Exhale as you push the dumbbells upward, extending your arms fully without locking your elbows. Keep your wrists firm and stable. 5. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, squeeze your chest muscles to feel the contraction. 6. Lower down. Inhale as you lower the dumbbells in a controlled manner, returning them to the starting position with your elbows slightly bent. 7. Breathing. Exhale during the pressing phase, and inhale as you lower the dumbbells. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your chest muscles. Close grip lock pull down. 1. Set up. Begin by sitting at a lock pull down machine with a close grip attachment. Adjust the thigh pads to fit snugly over your thighs. Select an appropriate weight on the weight stack. 2. Position, sit down on the bench and grip the close grip attachment with your palms facing inward, a few inches apart, and your hands positioned closer than shoulder width. 3. Starting position, with your arms fully extended, pull the close grip attachment down so it rests on your upper chest. Your back should be straight, and your chest should be up. 4. Pull down. Exhale as you pull the attachment down by bending your elbows and driving your shoulder blades down. Focus on engaging your latissimus dorsi muscles, the lats. 5. Squeeze. At the bottom of the movement, pause for a moment and squeeze your lats to feel the contraction. 6. Return up. Inhale as you slowly release the attachment, allowing it to return to the starting position in a controlled manner. Keep your back straight throughout. 7. Breathing. 
Exhale during the pulling phase, and inhale as you return the attachment to the starting position. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your lot muscles. Round 2. Lying leg raises. 1. Set up. Begin by lying flat on your back on an exercise mat or the floor. Extend your legs fully, and place your arms by your sides with your palms facing down. Keep your lower back pressed against the floor. 2. Position. Engage your core muscles to maintain a stable lower back and pelvis. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with your legs extended and your body in a straight line. 4. Leg raise. Inhale as you lift both legs off the ground simultaneously. Keep your legs straight, but not locked, and raise them as high as you comfortably can. 5. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your lower abdominal muscles. 6. Lower down. Exhale as you slowly lower your legs back down to the starting position, maintaining control and keeping your lower back pressed against the floor. 7. Breathing. Inhale during the leg raise, and exhale as you lower your legs. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your lower abdominal muscles. Alternate dumbbell front raises. 1. Set up. Begin by standing up straight with a dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended by your sides, and palms facing your thighs. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. 2. Position, keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged throughout the exercise. 3. Raise, exhale as you lift one dumbbell in front of you with a slightly bent elbow until it reaches shoulder level. Keep the other arm extended by your side. 4. Hold and squeeze, at the top of the raise, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your front deltoid, front shoulder, muscles. 5. Lower down. Inhale as you lower the dumbbell back down to the starting position in a controlled manner. 6. Switch arms. Repeat the raise with the opposite arm while keeping the non-raised arm extended by your side. 7. Breathing. Exhale during the raising phase, and inhale as you lower the dumbbell. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions per arm to effectively target your front deltoid muscles. Cable Glute Kickbacks 1. Set up. Begin by attaching an ankle strap to the low pulley on a cable machine. Adjust the weight stack to your desired resistance. Put on the ankle strap and attach it to your right ankle. Stand facing the machine and hold onto the machine or a support with both hands for balance. 2. Position. Keep your standing leg slightly bent and your upper body upright. Engage your core muscles for stability. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with your right ankle attached to the cable, and your right leg positioned slightly behind your left leg. 4. Kickback. Exhale as you press your right leg backward in a controlled motion, extending it behind you as far as comfortable. Focus on contracting your glute muscles during the kickback. 5. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, Pause for a moment and squeeze your glutes to feel the contraction. 6. Return. Inhale as you slowly bring your right leg back to the starting position with controlled movement. 7. Switch legs. Disconnect the ankle strap from your right ankle and attach it to your left ankle. Repeat the kickbacks with your left leg. 8. Breathing. Exhale during the kickback phase, and inhale as you return your leg to the starting position. 9. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 12 to 15 repetitions per leg to effectively target your glute muscles. Round 3. Seated alternate dumbbell curls. 1. Set up. Begin by sitting on a flat bench with a dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended by your sides, and palms facing forward. Keep your feet flat on the floor, shoulder width apart. 2. Position. Sit with your back straight, chest up, and core engaged for stability. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with one dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended, 
and palms facing forward. 4. Curl. Exhale as you curl one dumbbell toward your shoulder while keeping your upper arm stationary. Rotate your palm to face your shoulder at the top of the curl. 5. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your bicep muscles. 6. Lower down. Inhale as you lower the dumbbell back down to the starting position in a controlled manner. 7. Alternate arms. Repeat the curl with the opposite arm while keeping the non-curling arm fully extended by your side. 8. Breathing. Exhale during the curling phase, and inhale as you lower the dumbbell. 9. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions per arm to effectively target your biceps. Rope tricep pushdown. 1. Set up. Begin by attaching a rope handle to the high pulley on a cable machine. Adjust the weight stack to your desired resistance. Stand facing the machine and hold the rope handle with both hands, palms facing each other, and your hands close together. 2. Position. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and a slight bend in your knees. Keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged. 3. Starting position. This is your starting position, with your hands gripping the rope handle, and your elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, close to your sides. 4. Push down. Exhale as you extend your elbows and push the rope handle down toward your thighs. Keep your upper arm stationary during the movement. 5. Squeeze. At the bottom of the movement, pause for a moment and focus on squeezing your tricep muscles. 6. Return. Inhale as you slowly allow the rope handle to return to the starting position in a controlled manner, bending your elbows. 7. Breathing. Exhale during the push-down phase, and inhale as you return the rope handle to the starting position. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your triceps. Excellent work! Once you've completed your workout, it's essential to stretch. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Staying dedicated to this 10-day workout program is crucial. Aim for 2-3 to three sessions every week. We're here to support you as you work towards burning fat, building strength, and reaching your fitness goals. Keep watching, as this series will be your ultimate guide to success.